What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys. And I hope everybody's doing well. I'm super excited because this build is finally ready to be turned on. It's 5 o'clock in the morning again, but it's well worth it. And I'm so excited to get this thing turned on. For, the, for those of you guys who are new, there's a 100 and 23 pies in here right now there'll be a total of 126 pies when it's all said and done it's just the last row i want to do some temperature checks but we're about to turn this guy on if you've missed some of the prior videos please go back and check the other videos and you guys can kind of watch the process of how we've got to this point and it is just super exciting to be able to turn this bad boy on it's going to be more than 1000 cores of cpu power running about half of them are 2.4 and the other half is 1.8 so you guys without further ado stay tuned let's get this bad boy up and running All right, here goes the power button. <laughs> Eureka, that's such a beautiful sight. Wow. Looks like everything is fired up so far. I guess I need to look down the channels and see how this is going. Oh, that looks awesome. 125 orange pies. Wow. Oh, wow. It looks like everything is up and running too, guys. It's incredible. This is so cool. Sorry for the headshot, but trying to get in here a little bit to make sure to check it out. I see a problem with one board already. So if you've noticed, the green lights are blinking in almost all of them. It's a static red light. But I do see a board down here where the green light is not blinking. So unfortunately, I'm afraid that maybe something with at least one of them. But I mean, this looks gorgeous, guys. Wow. guys it's exciting man and you can't fake the blooper earlier <laughs> i didn't mean to drop the phone but hey things happen oh man so check it out i mean it looks really 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 cool i'm super excited to be able to build this help teach you guys how i did it so hopefully you guys have followed along all the processes you know how we did the power supply the battery backup and uh Everything else still to come. There's a lot more. We still have to figure out what the kind of hash rate this guy is getting. So far, it's not hooked up to the internet. It's uh, disconnected from the internet for now because I have the lid off. Otherwise, it would be overheating, of course. So, we're uh, just going to go through it right now together and uh, kind of see if there's any more problems and kind of tinker with it a little bit. And then we'll turn this bad boy on and see what kind of hash it gets. <laughs> All right, guys, this thing looks incredible. Let's uh, get a closer look at it, shall we? Wow. Very, very cool, guys. I mean, I think we've got power to every board in here. 
It really does look like it. That's a good sign. Now we're gonna make sure we've got internet and they're all up and mining. Oh no. See that one solid light right there? It's not blinking. That's a bad sign. <laughs> oh no. Let's see what else is in here. Wow. It's like an infinity of lights. Yeah. I really don't see any more stale lights. Everything's looking really good. So these are six stacks high. Except for the back row, which I'll probably add as long as the temperatures are good. I've got all the provisions in place to do so. I mean, everything looks really, really good, guys. Uh, we're ready to find out how much hash this thing is getting and uh, plug it into the internet. I mean, I definitely am seeing some issues. So as you look right down this aisle, you'll see there's not all the lights are on. So we've got problems somewhere. See, you can see on the green lights on the left side, you count them, there's six of them. That makes it easier. So see there's six, but over here, we're not getting six. Let's check another bay. Yep, see there's another one off down there. See there's three and then two at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, unfortunately. All right, let's connect the internet and see if we can't get into these things and figure out what's going on. The good news is we've got power on, as far as I can tell, to every single board. Um, it looks like we're pretty much ready to go ahead and rock and roll. You know what? Let's get a baseline on power. All right. If you guys remember from the prior videos, our baseline for power was 50 watts so just the battery backup and the all the leds from the uh, uh usb power banks feeding everything was 50 watts so we're using 325 watts just as a baseline so this is a 2000, what is it, KV um, power supply, so it'll last a oh, VA. So it's a 2000 VA power supply. It'll run about an hour without internet, um, pretty much running stable. So let's go ahead and connect the internet and see what happens. All right, guys, let's see if we've got any uh, connectivity or if we have any issues, especially with those ones earlier. Looks like everything is plugged in. Yeah, as I said, that one light is just not blinking. It's static, so that's definitely a problem. Yeah, I'm still seeing the same lights out. Not making any much of a difference with the internet on versus off. Okay guys, everything looks like a go to me. I mean, there's definitely some down in there. I'm not really sure how many. I'm dying to know how much power we're actually drawing and how many are actually up, so let's get a quick reading on our power okay 
We're right at a thousand watts 30. Pretty good. Not bad at all, actually, for a thousand cores, but there's definitely some down. So let's go take a look at the monitor and see where we're at. Thank you, Kyle, for the uh, control dashboard. This is super, super handy. We're still working on it, or he's working on it. We have 102 active workers up. As I, you can see, it's using the, all the IP range of 253, but we only have 123 in the box as of right now. So we are down 21 workers. So 21 down work, workers are down. Uh, we saw a mirror of different problems. So, hmm, that one in the front is not going to be easy to get to. No fun. I really hope it's no corrupt SD drives. But we did test everything before it's put in. So I'm hoping it's just network issues. Uh, and I don't have to get to any of those SD cards. That's going to be a royal flaw of the uh, compact design. But we're averaging uh, 6.7 mega hash. And I got a total hash rate of six, uh, 686 mega hash. So guys, it's looking really, really good. Uh, let's see over here on what our average temperatures are. Whoa. All right, so just a little bit of explanation. The little core is 46C. That is the Cortex 55, I believe. Uh, that's the one running at 1.8 uh, gigahertz. And the uh, big core should be the uh, one running at um, 2.4 gigahertz, and that is the uh, 75 or 76 Cortex. Uh, so that's at 48C. So these are really, really good temperatures. Now, if we can only figure out how to overclock these orange pies, I have plenty of headroom. Now, this is really good for average, so we're going to have to kind of dive into each individual one. We'll kind of pick some of them, but then we'll save that for different videos. This is just kind of a highlight. This thing hasn't been running up in long, very, very long at all. Um, we still need to go look at it at the pool. I'm not sure if everything's up at the pool or registered yet or not, uh, but I'm going to uh, release the address so the mining address you guys can go to the pool we're going to be able to follow this publicly uh how much it's producing what's the hash and yeah you guys can go to the pool let's uh, go take a look at that okay guys it's going to be on an interesting hole dot xyz uh, you guys can find that in the pool list or you know i'll put a i'll put the link in it to the description as well um, and then you would just take the address and go up here to search the miners. So as I said, it's going to take a little bit of time to register. We're only at 68 as average. Um, but it's climbing. We're at 700 mega hash. The box should get closer to 850, but we're definitely down, like I said, 21 pies. So I have to do the math to really see where we're at with that. But, um, you know, it's definitely seeing them, but it's going to take some more time in the pool. But if you guys are interested, you can follow it there. Go check out the description, and I'll have the uh, address there and the pool link. Yeah, so like I said, there's a lot of extra red in here. It won't be that bad uh, once I'm able to uh, assign dedicated IP addresses. And Kyle's, like I said, still working on this. And we finished up, so we've got some down at the bottom. Let's pick a random one over here, see if we can get the details on it. Um, it's just giving us the temperature. Yeah, as I said, he's still working on piece, putting this together. But yeah, that's awesome. All this detailed information is just incredible to be able to have. Gives you your share rate acceptance rejects wow pool information ping time incredible Kyle appreciate it man so yeah guys stay tuned and uh, we'll definitely be putting out a lot more videos but I've got to get some sleep and do some uh, troubleshooting I've got 21 pies down and I need to start diving into it. 
may even need to call up some backup. But uh, fortunately, I did go cheap, and these 48 port switches were bought used, so yeah, there's no telling <laughs> what's going on in there. Hopefully, they're factory reset, but uh, that's something that we're going to have to look into. Um, that could be the problem we're running into, uh, why it seems like all the lights are running, but we still didn't have connectivity, as you saw in some of them. This one here with a static light. I'm afraid that's a corrupt drive. <laughs> but the good news is, I don't see any more static lights thus far. Uh, knock on wood, there's uh, <laughs> no more in there. But still, at the bottom, one of the worst stacks ever to get to. So I really hope I don't have to get to that. But thanks again, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I did. And remember to like and subscribe. It's not over yet, guys. We still got to tinker with this guy, figure out what's wrong with the last few, get them up and running, go ahead and get the final power consumption, the final hash rate, and um, yeah, and see what kind of other things we can tweak with. Maybe there's other upgrades we can do, like to the mining software, overclocking them. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities. These things even have AI chips in them. So yeah, guys. Appreciate your uh, time, energy, and effort. Remember to keep mine on. Hit that bell. See you guys. Have a good night. Or morning. Or evening. Wherever you are. The next evolution in decentralized tech is here. Veris is a truly free, open source blockchain protocol designed for privacy, safety, open participation, and unlimited scalability. Decentralized financial and communications tech that can scale to a new internet of value and data exchange. Build with us, Veris. Truth and privacy for all. Learn more and join the conversation on Discord.